Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another live stream. We have a great collaboration here with Crypto Galaxy. We're streaming on both channels, so make sure you like the stream and tell people about it. Apparently, we're late to the stream, man. We're late to our own stream. W what have you got to say to this? And welcome, Crypto Galaxy. Yeah, who cares, man? We can take our sweet time. So what's up, Archie? Great to be doing another, another collab with you again. You know, you're one of my, my top youtubers that i respect and i recommend everybody watch you guys if you if you don't know crypto archie yet he's got a solid youtube channel you gotta gotta subscribe to him uh check out check out his videos and today's stream is basically like our mutual top five cryptos that we're bullish on you know these are these are some pretty good picks on the list here so uh, yeah for yeah. sure yeah, these are some solid picks um these are the top five on the screen obviously we've got six and seven if you're part of our groups on CG's video course and my Patreon, you'll get those two. But these top five, you know, these are all you need, really. I mean, these are the solid, solid picks when it comes to crypto. We've got gaming picks. We've got Casper, which is just the best layer one out there in existence. And then we've got the best meme coin right now, which is Myro. So what do you think about these top seven, man? I, I really don't think there's any other crypto that is that close to even getting into this. I mean... It seems pretty set in stone for me, these these picks. Yeah, between us, like for our mutual picks, these are definitely the most solid ones. Uh, and it's a nice distribution of picks because Caspa is like the the best big cap blue chip, you know, that's in the top 50 market cap. It's the only one that I recommend. And then, you know, after Caspa, we got Hello, Myro, Miria, GFAL. These are good, like mid cap, you know, 100 million range market cap, small blue chips, right? They're going to be higher risk. And Caspa, but they're all also, you know, still 100x, 200x potential. So those are cryptos you don't have to really babysit. But, you know, anything could change with those cryptos any day, right? Like Myro has been pumping so much and it's really volatile. But, you know, cryptos like Hello and Miria and GFAL, they're going to have their day eventually. And then, you know, obviously we got those two, um, the last picks, you know, we each have picks that are on our radars, right? Because we're looking for, you know, the best entry into the, the next micro cap. Because some of these cryptos, man, they... They pump so fast that if you miss the pump, it's like you're you're kind of screwed. You gotta you gotta get them before they pump. Exactly, man. We we've got you know relatively big audiences now watching the streams. I mean, we're still both small YouTubers, right? We're still nowhere near the level of like the Bit Boys or these channels. But um, man, there's a lot of people watching the streams now, and there's a lot of influence that we have just because our track records are so good. A lot of people just ape into these coins and uh we we need to make sure that people aren't doing that and they're investing sensibly so that's why we don't necessarily just push them all the time on the stream you know you got to go and go and join the groups um i want to get your thoughts on myro man and then we, we will get into the comments because everyone wants to know about this one like it's pumping so much obviously it's taken a correction this is just totally normal you expect this after yeah. a crazy pump people have fudding they're selling their bags you know at a loss maybe they bought the top um so <laughs> you're in huge gains on this i'm in some gains not necessarily anywhere near as big as you i think you were the first youtuber to to call this other than bitboy i think <laughs> i think bitboy actually he, surprisingly he bought into this one um but you know he's bullish on everything right so what what do you have to say about this one? It's uh it's seeing the correction, yeah. but we see a tier one listing soon. This thing's gonna pump crazy. Yeah, Myro's looking bullish. I think the people who are running Myro actually have inside connections to all of the big people in crypto, including Bitboy. I'm sure somebody on the Myro team tipped off Bitboy early and told him about it, and then that's why Bitboy started pushing it. Uh they've been getting a lot of exchange listings. I mean, they got buy bit KuCoin. You know, gate. I don't. Is it cool coin? They they got a lot of exchanges, and it just feels like the big tier ones are coming. Like it could be Binance or Crypto.com. The name is good for Myro. The logo is good. The story behind the fact that this is the Solana founder's dog works out because if you look at Shiba Inu, that was the dog of Vitalik Buterin, and also Myro, I believe, was a hundred percent fair launch from the the beginning with no pre sale or you know pre allocated dev coins. So it's a that's why I think you get a chart that looks like this, pretty organic. And um, the volume has been increasing organically. The price keeps hitting all-time highs. And um, with the market dipping overall, I think for it to have a small short-term correction is pretty normal and healthy. So it's just I think it's just a matter of time that it just, it just explodes. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, I completely agree. I mean, 
the people who are bearish on Myro, they're just bearish on all meme coins, right? Like they have no real reason yeah. to be bearish on this. And many people know that I've not been the most bullish person on meme coins for the last year. And that's not because I hate memes. I want to make this like crystal clear to people. I made a lot of money on meme coins last bull run. Doji Long Mars, Floki, all of these coins I bought, you know, the other Doge coins. I bought them all last bull run. But um, I just thought that in the bear market, meme coins weren't really the best thing to buy. Whereas now we're in like the pre bull run slash bull run. It makes sense to buy meme coins now, right? Because the market's risk is favorable to the memes. And out of the meme coins that exist, I don't think there's anyone close to Myra right now in terms of pushing the marketing and the centralized exchanges. And that's the main thing that pumps your bags, right? Is these exchanges. People yeah. always, they'll show Myra or these other copycat meme coins and they have no exchanges. So I know. <laughs> say, like, where's the money coming from? Are they just broke, um, you know, crypto runners or are they actually trying to pump this thing? And that's the problem, right? Yeah, it's pretty exciting, you know, because, you know, we've been in crypto a while. I would say at the start of the bear market since 2022, 23, the only real winners in the meme coins was Pepe, you know, about uh, eight, nine months ago. It got listed on Binance right after it launched, and that's why it pumped 1,000x. And then Bonk recently got listed on Coinbase uh, a month or two ago, and that's pumping 200x, and now it's having a little correction. So I think naturally Myro is going to be the next best successful meme coin because it's not yet on any uh exchange like coinbase or binance and so you know the market cap uh what is it, like 100 or 200 million it's i think it's pretty low compared to relative to what it has potential for in the future and the, these meme coin seasons are super random it's like when you find a good meme coin it's good right like most meme coins are very sketchy and scammy all the copies of Myro, like rocky myra solama it's just a bunch of stupid coins that people keep asking me about i'm like no man these are so bad like anyone can go make a random meme coin with a stupid logo and get some good marketing and you think it's the next gem but it's not you got to check out the uh the exchange listings you know and just watch out for other red flags so i think i think myro looking like a, a potential winner for next bull run like the the next shiba inu so i'm pretty excited for it absolutely man i mean so often we see these people share meme coins and they all rug like Yoto. <laughs> you remember that one? Yotoshi. Yeah. Everyone, every stream. What are your thoughts on Yoto? Have you checked this? It's the next big Casper meme. It's a Casper meme coin on Solana. Can people not see that they're being like tricked into buying Solana here? Um, also, there's super shady things going on with the people behind that one and stuff like that. And I think Yoto might be down 95% plus right now. And that people are saying buy the dip. <laughs> it's like bad. when are people gonna learn right <laughs> it's only negative 95 percent, guys go buy the dip <laughs> it's like no yeah. they, they rugged you oh my god that's awful <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I remember when this was out <laughs> yeah i mean i just remember one stream specifically there was just so many people what are your thoughts on yoto it's <laughs> it's you know named after the Casper founder, it's 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 gonna pump crazy. It's down ninety eight percent now. This is literally rugged, yeah. and it hasn't even had a bear market. This launched in a in a <laughs> semi bull run, and it's down ninety eight percent. And I think there's another one called Think. Uh, have you seen that one? I've think. heard. Yeah, Think that went negative ninety nine percent, and I called it yeah. before it happened. It's just every so time. Stupid. So yeah, you, you you guys gotta watch. For exchange listings, if you have a meme coin that's only on a DEX like Radium and Uniswap and PancakeSwap, it's just going to rug because the team doesn't have any funds to pay for an exchange listing. They're just in it for a quick cash grab. So that's why a crypto like Myro was very bullish for me when I found it at 18 million market cap. It was listed on 12 centralized exchanges, which gives it a huge lo level of credibility on top of the fact that the tokenomics are good. The team is potentially good. The logo and the name is good. So the exchange listings give such a good level of trust and credibility to cryptos in general. So I just, yeah, I'm, I'm done yeah. with these DEX scam coins. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like last bull run, I would have played these these DGEN coins, you know, and flipped them on, on DEX tools or whatever, but not now. Like, yeah. you know, it, unless you've got like $1,000 or less, then if you've got a decent sized portfolio, 
Like the average person doesn't need to be flipping scam coins on Dex tools. You can at least go for half decent coins and still make a hundred X. It's still possible, right? Like, yeah. At what point did you find Casper? And it seems almost certain that you're going to get a hundred X on that. It wasn't a micro cap. Dude, you make such a good point. So to answer Casper, I found it at 80 million market cap. The price was about half a cent and I'm up at to the top. I went up, you know, 20 X, 25 X. And that's with a, you know, not a super risky D gen Dex coin. And I used to do all that Dex trading with the, um, B and B chain coins and the Uniswap coins, but there's just so many rugs and scams that the amount of time you put in and the, the money you make, it's just not worth it. And it's so mentally stressful. So I think it's good practice for people who just get into crypto. They get excited and they're like, oh, I can go check out and make a quick profit with this random Dex coin that's going to rug me tomorrow, but I can sell it before they dump on me. And it's just, it's easier just to buy into solid long-term cryptos while they're cheap. Just get the good long-term ones cheap because last bull run people made thousand x on cryptos you know 100x 200x on polygon theta dogecoin you know cryptos that were supposedly not like super risky degen plays they still do 100x so that's why this list we have here i think is excellent like these five coins are great they're all 100x potential long term absolutely and you know these are solid picks they all have exchanges they've been around for a few months you know they're not from last bull run but they're also not like just come out today so they've got a decent track record in the time they've been out. They've got exchange listings. They've all got solid teams pretty much as well. You know, and I'm seeing a lot of copycats for these coins too. You know, what we should, what we could have done is a little section here. Copycats, Casper, you can have a few different, you know, Taraxa, um, <laughs> Quitmir, a few other copycats. Hello Labs, you got Rightstream and some others. Myro, you got Myra, Rocky, all these other ones, right? So there's so many copycats for every single one of our picks. It's hilarious. It's like people think that they're uh, too broke to actually buy some decent cryptos like these. Instead, they go and buy Myra or they go and buy, you know, Taraxa or Quitmere or Rightstream, the worst one out of the bunch, I would say. Why do people have this mindset, man? Why can't they just uh, settle for a 50 to 100x and make crazy gains? Why do they always have to either risk it all for probably the same gains, right? These these BTEC versions of these yeah. projects aren't going to do more gains than these ones. I know, man. I'm 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 totally done with every copy and paste project that just makes a little modification. They're all going to rug, and it's just it, these people are just looking for quick, short term gains. And it's like you're already going to get gains with the solid picks. You know, these are all hundred x in let's say a year or even less than that. You can even hit hundred x in three months. If you're lucky with one of these, but man, people want a hundred X like tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. I think most people learn eventually, like it will happen maybe once or twice. They learn the lesson, you know, I'm not going to do that again, but there's some people who just seem to never learn every single time they're buying these DGen coins and you look at their portfolio and it's a mess. There's no solid cryptos in there at all. Like the top five. Uh, but there's a couple donations, so we'll go through these. Nim, uh, this one's for you. All right, Nim, thank you for the two pounds super chat. Ponky looks bullish, low micro cap, central exchange, and Solana meme. Oh, interesting. Yeah, could you uh pull that up, Archie? I haven't seen this one yet, but I know people keep shilling me the next Solana coin, which I probably don't want to buy because I like my role. But let's... okay, it's got Mexi, BitGet, Bitmart. What's the market cap? It's my screen's so small. What does that say? Uh, 46, 46 mil. Is there like crazy bad tokenomics or? Oh no, it's a hundred percent fair launch. Uh, how's the all time chart? Oh, it just came out. Yeah, like yesterday. It came yeah, out. Very I, I don't, risky. Yeah, I don't know, man. Nim, this is a super risky. I mean, it, it it got a few exchanges. Like when I got Myro, Myro was on twelve central exchanges. You know, because these central exchanges like BitGet and Mexi and Bitmart, it's definitely better than none. But those are also the cheapest exchanges possible. You know, they, I think they only charge 50 grand per listing or 100 grand. Like, it's actually not that expensive to certain people. So I don't know, dude. I, I would just keep an eye on this because you never know. They could just be going for a quick, you know, cash grab, trying to ride the hype of Solana and Myro, and then it goes down. You know, just the name itself and the logo is like, <laughs> what the hell is Punky, man? It's just... Like, is this a monkey? Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a cross between Pepe and a monkey. That's that's what it looks like to me. It doesn't look uh, 
too great, but it's four letters, you know? So it, like you, I've heard you say this before and it, it's yeah. pretty true, you know, four letters, Pepe, um, Doge, obviously it's Doge coin, but everyone just says Doge. Yeah. Like that's what it's remembered as. So it's snappy. It looks okay. But, um, you know, you, you got to ask yourself, how risky do you really want to be in crypto? You could just wait this out for a few weeks, let it play out, let it consolidate, just see what they're about and then jump into it. You don't always have to buy it straight as, as it launches. Like, what would you say the ideal age of a crypto is for you? Because I mm -hmm. personally don't like them when they're really old, but I also don't like them when they just launch today. I like to give them a little bit of time. Like if yeah. you look at Miria, for example, this thing literally took a huge bump when it launched. And I was always consistent saying, you know, like this doesn't yeah. fully show it. But if you look from here, it was like an 80, 80 or 90% dip. I was always saying, just let it bottom out. Don't buy it now. And I kind of waited for zero zero one, and then I jumped in. But that was because it dumped at launch. And you see this with so many cryptos. So what would you say the ideal yeah. age for a crypto would be? Yeah, dude, great example here with Miria. I actually learned more about picking the right crypto age with Miria because I bought Miria at the launch and they dumped on me. I was like, damn it. <laughs> I got screwed over. So I, I got dumped on by Miria. And I was like, yep. From now on, I'm always going to wait at least three or four weeks after listing on coin market cap. Because with many of these cryptos, they dump at the launch because there's some kind of like pre-sale or pre-allocation or people who got in before the launch who were looking to dump as soon as it launched. And you just you just never know when that's going to happen. So maybe I would buy a 100% a, a fair launch coin earlier. But man, you know, it's just it's just still just risky. Even even if it's fair launch, I would wait. You know, I, I think the sweet spot of an age is between one and three months, but obviously I think it can go beyond that. I think it can go to three to 12 months, but um, anything beyond 12 months, it's like the question is, why is it taking so long to pump? Is there something wrong with it? So uh, for cryptos under a month old, I usually just add them to my watch list. And um, I have a whole section in my video course that I made talking about just the crypto age, like the age of a crypto alone can be enough to, you know, filter out scam coins or just recommend to yourself, add it to the watch list, give it consideration because, you know, there's just so many proven examples in the past that it's like crypto charts and prices tend to bottom out around one, two or three months. And so if you can find those aged cryptos, it's just it's the perfect sweet spot. You know, like you and I, for example, we got in early on GFAL and hello just a, a few months after they launched right like you got hello very early you know i got gfal a month after launch and um you know that the timing is everything with these cryptos right there's so many good cryptos that i would like to buy but there's just not the right the right age right it's not the right timing yeah like it's it's all about the age and uh buying them in the what i call it the pre-catalytic phase so like before all the catalysts right because Crypto is all driven through catalysts, whether it's exchanges, you know, stupid partnerships, uh, whatever it is. It's those are the things that pump cryptos. Influencers talking about them. You don't want to buy it after it's already had a bull run, like Gala. How much more can you really squeeze out of that? Like it's a decent uh, gaming project, I guess not with the team and all of that, but fundamentally it's decent, right? But if you look at all the other things around it, it's completely squeezed all its value out. There's not much more to push. So it's just not worth it. Yeah. Well said. Um, Ness gives you a donation as well. This one's for you. Ness, thank you for the $5. I know Ness. Uh, he was one of the first people to sign up for my video course, and he's doing really well. He's learning quite a bit about, you know, gem hunting and, you know, finding 100x micro caps. So, Ness, thank you for the super chat. You say, keep up the great work, you two. Love the top five. Thank you, Ness. Appreciate it. I think this is a, a very solid uh, list of top five cryptos, and uh, this is a great collab, as always. The Crypto Galaxy Archie collab is much desirable, and uh, and here it is. Absolutely, man. I mean, we really are the source YouTubers for the most part. I mean, there's some others who do good, who I do recommend, and they, they are unique. But on the whole, like a lot of people watch our videos and, and take a lot of inspiration from what we do, right? Like, <laughs> there's many, man. <laughs> yeah, pe people copy us, you guys, if you haven't noticed. Like, there's people who... Uh, you know, take our picks, take our, you know, just even things like thumbnails and titles, like a lot of things just look like people who just watch us, right? Yeah, 
absolutely. I mean, <laughs> it's good to be unique, guys. That's all I'll say. It's good to be unique. Um, and there are a few YouTubers out there who are, you know, doing good. And uh, I recommend doing that uh, if you if you do want to be a YouTuber in crypto. Um, let's see what else. This is another donation for Crypto Galaxy. All right. Vatan Genio, thank you for the $2. Is Myro a good entry point right now with the correction? Let's see. You got the Myro chart? I, I, I believe it is. I think it's a good price. Just It's just that Bitcoin and the whole market is dumping right now. And also Myro pumped a lot. So after every pump, there's going to be a pullback. So I, yeah, I think it's a good buy right now, right? Maybe it comes down a little bit more to 11 or 12 cents. But, you know, if you don't have any Miro, I would definitely just kind of top up your bags right now. This is a really good dip. And um, the reason I'm still bullish on Miro is that, you know, the chart is still holding higher floors and the volume is still generally increasing. And it hasn't even gotten a tier one exchange listing yet. And I, I feel like it's coming. So, yeah, if I did not have any Miro, I would like definitely scoop up a bag right now. 100%. I agree with that. A lot of people in the chat are saying, uh, where's Joystream? And then they're saying, where's some of my picks and stuff like that. This is a joint top seven. So some of my picks on in here, some of uh, CG's picks on in here. This is just the joint top five if we had to. And obviously you've got six and seven, which if you're in our groups, you'll see. So uh, yeah, we, we can't have every single pick in here, right? It's only five picks. So Joystream, Mint Layer, uh connects like they're all good picks but these aren't in our top five you know these are the very very best out of the bunch uh man we got a lot of donations here lone wow. wolves this one's for you uh lone wolf thanks for the ten dollars hope you're both well second cycle all profit fine with the risk portfolio is 85 percent caspa the rest is split up to hello peppy miria and plays app i have a grand to throw in <laughs> not financial advice yeah uh first thing i will say is that is a good portfolio i do recommend to most people to hold at least 50 to 80 percent in caspa just because it's a hundred percent bear launch big cap it's a safe pick for long-term gains and you're not going to have to like lose sleep over it so that part's really good and then the other picks you know hello peppy miria plays app also good micro cap picks uh any one of those can do 100x any day so with one grand, I don't know how much money is your entire portfolio. Like if your portfolio right now is two grand, that makes a difference. But if your portfolio is like a million dollars, I don't know, man. It's like, I don't know how much a grand is relative to you. I just recommend topping up all your existing bags. And then for cryptos that if you want to look into, maybe just look into getting a little bit of Miro. Um, but otherwise, I would just say top up your bags as it is. What do, what do you think, Archie? Yeah, um, you don't need to have too many cryptos, right? Like, I'm really realizing, and I've been in crypto for like over five years now, and I'm still still learning things. Like, like I, I've mostly figured it out, but there's still things you learn, even, you know, five years plus into crypto. And one of the mistakes I made like a year ago is I had too many projects. I had like 20 projects. And what I'm realizing is you really don't need more than like five to 10, ideally. Like, if you've got conviction, and you've got good projects, you don't need many. So I would say for most people, four or five projects you really believe in, it could be the five on the screen right now. These want to be like the vast majority of your portfolio. You don't want to be having like loads and loads of side projects because it's unmanageable. You forget about them. You don't follow them. Something scammy happens with the team. One of the CEOs leaves and you just miss it, right? You've got to keep on top of your cryptos because if the CEO was to leave tomorrow and it was announced, would you know? Or would you rely on another YouTuber to tell you? Um, if they just got delisted off Mexi, for example, for being shady, would you find out? So I would say, yeah, just keep up with the existing bags and uh, you'll, you'll probably be fine. Just don't play it too risky and, and don't, don't have too many projects. Um, uh, wait, let me go up. I think it's the Alchemist. To... Yeah, I skipped uh... one. Uh, the Alchemist, this one's for you. Alchemist, thanks for the two dollars. What are your thoughts on Sponge? It's probably a scam. Is this the SpongeBob, like the really old SpongeBob meme coin that came out when Pepe came out, and all these stupid random meme coins were trying to ride the hype of Pepe? I think it's I done for, dude. It's just there's going to be copyright issues. This is, I think, it's the first one. 
uh, ticker sponge. It, it's the I see it right there. That's yeah, it. Dude, the, the, anything that's a cartoon character, like a copyrighted character, it's just, I don't know, man. Something looks funky with this one. Like, that chart doesn't even look normal. Like, I don't know. It looks like a honeypot. There's something's weird about this, dude. I, just, just pass, slap, skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're being a bit too nice, man. I think if this was your I own know. stream, you would be slapping this guy with the, with the soundboard. <laughs> I would. Yeah, I agree. I agree, man. Like, this is probably never going to be the next coinbase listing or the next wow. binance because they're just going to get copyrighted or something stupid like that and the chart looks horrendous <laughs> i don't think i've seen a worse one in a while um but yeah, yeah that that doesn't look great so the alchemist thank get him you out of donation. here <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have another one for you crypto galaxy uh king zingo thanks for the 10 euros Will there be enough good new crypto projects coming out to create a 4050x portfolio from scratch after June 2024? I don't want to invest in projects that already made a lot of X. Thanks. Why are you asking about June? Go buy cryptos now. What are you waiting for, dude? This is the best dip in crypto that I've seen for quite some time. And you're asking to wait until June? Like, are you just homeless right now and you're not going to have income for another four months? Like, what are you waiting for, dude? I just buy cryptos now. Like, there's already, dude. Look at our top five list. Caspa, Hello, Miria, Myro, GFAL. These are all 40 to 50x long term from now. So it's like, yeah, they already, some of them already went up a lot of X, but they go up more X because cryptos, if they do 500x and it already went up, you know, 20x, you still got another, uh, a lot left in the tank, right? It's not like these are late. Um, but if you really want like the micro caps, like a new pick, uh, I recommend get on, you know, Archie's Patreon get on my video course we both have new gems that we're, we're looking at that we might buy soon so if you really want to like snipe a early entry check out those groups but otherwise you know long term you're you're very safe with these with these top five picks yeah absolutely i i recommend joining both because then you get two different people's perspectives right we've both been in crypto for many years now and we've both had successes so we have different strategies which both work there is a little bit of overlap, but that's because we're smart people, right? If we weren't, then we would have no overlap. But mostly our strategies are different. So it is good to uh, definitely check out the groups. Uh, Dylan, this one's for me. He drops $5. He says, I learned my lesson with Think. Uh, luckily, I made profits on it. Cheers. The two best in the game, the goats. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And I agree. I definitely agree. So thank you uh, for your donation. And Man, Fink is so terrible. Like this thing took an eternity to get listed on Coin Market Cap. How is it going to be the next big listing if it can't even get listed on Coin Market Cap <laughs> within like two months? I think it took so long. Um, man, it it took so long and it, it's dead now as well. So, yeah, if something isn't listed on Coin Market Cap within the first couple days, you've got to ask questions. Do the team have any networking at all? Do they know anyone? Have they got any money in the world? Like, it's a big red flag yep. for me if they can't even get that. It's like when a crypto doesn't exactly. have the blue tick on, on X, it's like, can they not even afford a Twitter <laughs> blue tick? Is that how <laughs> broke this team is? You know? <laughs> Whereas you look at something right. like Pepe or Myro, these guys have loads of money. It's obvious. Yeah. So what type of business do you want to invest in? Do you want to invest in a business with no money? Or do you want to invest in a business with loads of money to push out crazy marketing? I would choose exactly. the latter, right? Right. Uh, exactly. This one's for you. Uh, Kardik, thanks for the five bucks. Great to see you both collab again. Loving it. And the top picks you guys have are in the top seven. Myro, let's go. Keep up the great work. You too. Thank you, Kardik Pilly. Very much. Appreciate it. I know you're in um, my community. And also, I believe you're in Archie's as well. So it's great to see some of you guys who are in both of our groups. Because very, like Archie said, you know, you, you get extra value the more groups that you're in. So, you know, the more information, the better. Yeah, for sure. Like the there's not many people with a track record like ours, so it's the most you're you're in the right place. Like if you're watching this stream, there's 993 people watching right now. Congratulations. You're you're watching pretty good uh alpha here. You're not really gonna get that in too many other places. So congratulations, you're early to crypto and you're watching the right channels. Most people are not watching the right channels. <laughs> right. Um I uh, run uh ny i think this one's for me he says crypto galaxy wait he drops a donation what? to me and asks you a question crypto galaxy what's <laughs> the conviction on miria since it doesn't fit your tokenomics criteria so i guess he's asking you 
Damn, bro. Archie, you owe me five dollars. <laughs> Taking my super chats. <laughs> All right, Iron Sunny. Uh conviction on my Myria since it doesn't fit your tokenomics. What is my tokenomic? You don't even know my tokenomics criteria. Um what do you even know my tokenomics criteria? It does fit. Um tokenomics has some criteria, but it's not like black and white because you have to look at things like the pre-allocations who got the majority of the tokens what's the release schedule how much is the circulating supply um what you know what the circulating percent is archie can you remember because I, I forgot I think it I might think be like 25 to 30 maybe something yeah like that. so it's 25 to 30 it's not that bad i i know when miria first came out it was dumping a lot from you know node emissions and the aggressive release schedule but well, once it gets past 20, 30% circulating, each consecutive unlock is going to have a smaller impact on uh, the price, right? But when you have a new crypto that's got a 5% circulation, then yeah, a 1% unlock is going to kill the price. But if it's 25% circulating, a 1% unlock isn't going to do much. And I, I have a whole section on my video course. One of the steps for finding 100x potential gems and filtering for scams is to check the tokenomics you got to look at crypto rank the website check the vesting schedule look at the pre allocations look at the unlock schedule and then do the math to calculate the unlocks so that's yeah i don't think you know my criteria but yeah <laughs> for sure uh crypto rank super useful like i highly recommend that people use that uh not many people know about crypto rank like to, to be honest but it's way better than coin market cap like you can use that thing we're not going to give too much away because i think both of us uh fully explain this in the course but you can use that for some uh secret things you know it's uh pretty helpful i've been using that for a few months and i found yeah. a few gems uh utilizing it so i do recommend joining the courses and learning how to find gems um marcus drops a donation to me he says how high is your conviction on the four-year cycle narrative? Interesting question, man. Archie and CG are the ones who will change our lives. Thank you, bro. Appreciate your donation. This is a super interesting question, which I want your thoughts on this as well, because I believe in the four-year cycle theory, narrative, trend, whatever you want to call it. It's played out three times in a row now. But what I would say is you can't bet your whole crypto investment thesis fully on this theory, right? Because it's played out three times. Crypto is fully manipulated. It's crazy to predict. You know, it's one of the most unpredictable things out there. So I wouldn't like 100% focus on this. You got to combine multiple things when it comes to exit, exit strategy. And this is something which I talk about in the course. It's like, there's so many things here. You, you combine so many different things into your exit strategy. You can't just base it on one thing completely. Um, but yeah, man, I, I believe in the four year cycle. I would say you should use it for like 80% of your taking profits, but you got to also consider like fundamentals, you know, because not every single crypto topped out in November, 2021, some topped out in April. Right. And you, you got to also be able to analyze when is this crypto losing steam? When are they kind of slowing down? So it's much more complex than just one thing. Um, would you agree with that? Or what would you say? Yep, I, I would agree. Like the the four year cycle applies to crypto prices and Bitcoin probably more than <clears throat> anything else. Sure, there's other factors like fundamentals, narratives, and you know other other uh, you know institutional investors. But the four year cycle applies to Bitcoin and crypto four year cycles so much because Bitcoin itself fundamentally is on a four year having cycle. So you know, Marcus, if you got some time, go Google search what the uh, the four year having cycle is, and then. It, you're going to be like, holy crap, there's always after every having there's a bull run. And it's because the amount of people coming into crypto and the demand, it increases at the same constant rate or more. And so when the supply coming into Bitcoin is not matching the demand, it's always going to have a bubble burst and a bull run. So, uh, you know, we've, we've already had three, four year cycles that always topped out in like November, December, you know, 2013, 17, 21. It just seems obvious, like 2025 will be the next one. And um, I think at, after each cycle, Bitcoin will lose volatility. But the micro caps are all going to maintain huge volatility and there's going to be always gains in the micro caps. So, you know, I think Bitcoin, for example, could pump to $200,000, crash in November 25, and then correct to, you know, 80,000 bucks or something like that. And then now for 2029, 
maybe it'll happen again, maybe not, because we're getting to a point where almost all of Bitcoin is circulating. So I believe that each consecutive four year having will have less impact. But for sure, I think for this next four year cycle, it's going to have an impact. It's going to be that way. Yeah, it's it's just it's going to get too predictable at a point where it does it does break or something happens where it does break the cycle. But right now, like it's so clear that Bitcoin and crypto follows this cycle. Everyone said with the whole C19 thing, it was going to break the cycle. It didn't. Bitcoin didn't even make a lower low. Everyone said the ETF was going to break the cycle and we were going to make all time highs in 24 and like pump all the way up to like 200K and then that would be it. They were all wrong, right? So time and time again, these people who are doubting the four year cycle keep getting proven wrong. And everyone was saying the bottom wasn't in as well at 15K. You know, we're going to 5K. Those times have changed, right? But that was fun <laughs> back then, telling all those guys that they were wrong and they they were clueless. They they thought they were completely right, saying we're going to 3K. Uh, this <laughs> sure. one's for you, bro. Uh, Joe Pajo, thanks for the 10 euros. Hi, guys. I have good picks in my portfolio, but today I put some dollars just for fun in Omax. Layer one, I would like to hear your opinion about this coin. Have a nice day. All right, let's go check real quick. Can you pull up? Oh, Max, just, I never heard of this. Neither. Uh, oh, okay. man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Scam. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> Rug. Oh, man. Look at that huge pump. <laughs> <laughs> and then the huge dump. And then the, the stable coin movement for the next uh, couple, three years, you know? Man, this, this may be <laughs> one of the worst charts I've seen ever. Like, this is a stable coin. <laughs> And it's got centralized exchanges, yet it's so stable. Like, how is this even possible? Damn. Jopa, you really need some help, man. Like, you really got to start watching us more. Like, holy crap, dude. This is just screaming scam. Like, just run the other way. Oh, my God, man. You need some help. <laughs> yeah. I recommend joining both of the courses, <laughs> educating yourself fully, um, and then come back with another gem, and maybe it'll be good. Maybe you'll find the next 100x. I have... I have faith, but um, this layer one Omax, I'm not too impressed. I don't think Crypto yeah. Galaxy is either. Uh, Musky says, are your top five still good to buy now? Yes. I mean, yes. if you're not going to buy now, when are you going to buy? Right? Well, everything's dipping. This is your chance. If you wait another six months, they could all be up another 10x. So don't be too patient in crypto. It will kill your gains. Uh, this one's for you. Tad Ape. Will 7-Eleven Newports be my key to financial freedom? What is that? Is that cigarettes? I know Newport is a cigarette. Is this a, a city? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> is that a coin? <laughs> is that a crypto? Oh, 7-Eleven. That's the store. So you're saying you go shopping at 7-Eleven, like, you know, the gas station, and then you go buy some Newport cigarettes, and that's going to take you to financial freedom? I mean, it could, depending on how you play that to your advantage. Uh, I think it won't, though. So I, I would probably ad advise against uh, smoking cigarettes. But if that's your thing, man, then by all means. <laughs> yeah, you could get some uh, extra energy, right? But I guess there's <laughs> other ways of generating that energy than uh, cigarettes. But you do you, man. We're not here to give you health advice. Uh, I wasn't expecting this question. Um, You're wrong channel, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean... I've lost where I am now because of this. Here we go. Uh, Kartik Pilly drops a donation to me. Thank you very much. Regular viewer says, love the collab and appreciate you, Archie. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you too. Mo Faith gives you a donation. Mo Faith, thanks for the $5. What's up with Crypto John? Dude, been hitting G, the normie pipe? Hitting G. Yeah. Oh, I, so you're saying that Crypto John has like normie picks? Dude, here's the thing, right? Crypto John is a great guy, a good motivational speaker, good mindset advice. He understands crypto pretty well, and he he prefers to stick to the perceived safer big cap coins that are on the, the top U.S. exchanges like Coinbase, Gemini, Kraken, Crypto.com. There's cryptos he just won't buy because they're on the really sketchy, unregulated exchanges like Mexi. You know, he doesn't want to deal with it, right? And, and most people don't, to be fair. People just don't like signing up for small sketchy exchanges and I, I understand why um 
So it, it's just it's just his personal investment strategy. And I think it works because he has some good picks like Caspal. Uh, he has some meme coins like Pepe. And I think that he even has Turbo. They're all 100x potential. So. Yeah, um, I fully recommend Crypto John. I mean, I think he's one of the best guys in the space. Like he's super genuine. He's live now as well. So maybe oh. after this, go go give him a like, you know, go so go show some support. He's one of the best guys in the space, but you gotta, you know, you gotta factor in. Everyone's in different situations here. Like some people want to be a little bit risky. Some people want to be safe. Everyone's different investors, and you can't necessarily change that. Some people are just more risk adverse than others. Um, mm. Some people are younger than others. Some people just have more of a gambling uh, spirit than others. And some people watch these markets twenty four seven. Right, Crypto John. He's pretty busy. He has a job. Um, he might not be able to like watch these low caps like 24 seven. That may not may be too risky for him. So look, his picks, even the normie picks, which you say they're doing well, right? Like say he called pretty early. It's a normie coin, but he's made crazy gains on it. And uh, like you said, also he has some meme coins. He got into Casper really early on as well. So um, yeah, crypto John, he's got his morals in the right place and he, he does understand crypto to a very high degree as well. So Go subscribe to Crypto John. Uh, what else have we got? Man, I keep losing my place on. <laughs> there's too many <laughs> donations on both streams. Here we go. Walder to Crypto Galaxy. Uh, da Vinci has made shorts stating he thinks Caspa is the next Bitcoin. More, more bullish than he lets on. Caspa ten dollars next bull run conservative. Yes, I believe Da Vinci is probably bullish on Caspa, right? Because if he knew Bitcoin was bullish at a dollar and he found Casper now, I'm pretty sure he's bullish on it, right? So um, what's your take on it, uh, Archie? Because I know you, you just collabed with him, so you, you have more insight for this. Yeah, I just spoke to Da Vinci and uh, he said, he didn't say he's bearish. Like this is the same thing, but what happened with me is you say something and it gets taken out of context and someone spins it and they go, oh, you're bearish on Casper, right? Whereas what people say is they'll say something that's reasonable, like, um, you know, time will tell, or we need to just wait, or, uh, you know, does we need more time to fully know if it's going to be like the next Ethereum, things like that, right? Like reasonable claims that aren't fudding it. It's just uh, a reasonable claim from someone who is a billionaire like Da Vinci. He's looking at things in a negative and analytical way. He's not a moon boy, right? He wants to look at things and crit and critique them as logical as possible. So I think he said something like, He's not so sure that they fully solved the trilemma just yet. We'll have to see what happens when they release smart contracts, which I mean, I'm, I kind of disagree with that in a way because they have solved the trilemma even without smart contracts. So maybe when they come out, it may slow things down. I don't know. But yeah, I, I think he's, he's bullish on Casper and he's just giving some reasonable doubts, which I did as well. Right. And I think that's normal. You, how how do you go into your research? Because I go into it with a negative eye. Like I try and look for the negative. I try and spot a scam. And every crypto does have negatives. Like Casper probably has the, the least out of everything. But you can always come up with something. And if people say, no, there's nothing you could come up with, then that's just too bullish, right? Like even with Bitcoin, there's so many negatives, right? And people say Bitcoin's the best, which is not. Um, but what do you, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, uh, you know, it's interesting. You know, Da Vinci, he is really rich. Um, I see what Water is saying. Like, I think the theory is that Da Vinci uh, could be trying to hide his bullishness for Caspa, right? Because there are some people who just have so much freaking money in crypto that they have the most Bitcoin, the most ETH. They control the market. So, like, if they pick a crypto that they like, they'll pump it because they have money. Because money moves from Bitcoin to the lower cap. So, I think maybe he's just, Da Vinci's just trying not to you know, tip off the other big crypto whales about Caspar. That that could be possible. Um, and like you said, you know, it, it, it is all about looking for the least negatives in crypto, which is why Caspar is my number one. It's got the least negatives about it. There's seriously no substantial negatives, if any, about Caspar. Yep. But with all these other picks, there's always going to be negatives. And some cryptos that just have too many, I won't even consider them. Absolutely. Um... Am Amrit Powell? W T Abyss World. Uh yeah, he, he drops this. 
yeah, he's asking about Abyss World. I, I don't really rate it. Do you? No, I looked at it. It's just a really stupid looking game, like a Skyrim knockoff. It's like, I don't see that taken off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many knockoff games, you know, like Elder Elder Ring, I think a game's called. And then there's like yeah. Elder Rune. And there's loads of these like dark, mysterious demon killer games, like Sin, you know, Sin Medieval Slayer Empires. Games. Yeah, they're not gonna do well, man. They need to be uh, broad ranging. These games are really bad. I I, I don't rate yeah. them at all. Yeah, that's a scam, bro. I'll pass on that. <laughs> uh, Jordan, this one's for you. Jordan, thanks for the fifteen dollars. Myro is at the bottom of its channel. Down sixteen. Last time it reaches here, hundred percent gain, twenty four hours top of the channel. Uh, that's just too much technical analysis, bro. You're you're overthinking it. And I, if I had my slap effect, I would just slap the heck out of you, man. This is you, you got to look at other factors, man. You got to look at Bitcoin. You got to look at the past exchange listings they just got. Look at the next potential exchanges. Look at the volume. But if you're like, oh well, the channel was dot sixteen, and then the top of the channel is dot thirty five. So then if it goes there, it's gonna go back down here, and then I'll buy here, and then I'll make a hundred percent. It's just it's just too much, man. It's way too technical. And you put the technical emojis. You're trying to be a technical nerd. It doesn't work. I think there is a place for TA in crypto a little bit, but if you just purely go based on technical analysis, I don't think it's gonna work well. It might help a little bit, but I think you're going. <laughs> too overboard with the TA. I don't know what price Myro is going to drop to, nor do I know where it's going to pump to. It, it could drop anywhere between dot 10 and dot 15. It could pump to anywhere dot 35 to 40, maybe, or it goes to 50 cents. You know, you, you really don't know. It's, it's th these patterns are not that simple because just because it happened for the past month doesn't mean it's going to continue the same exact pattern for another month. This is, is, is too much, man. Yeah, there's, there's too many people who rely solely on TA and they don't look into fundamentals or catalysts or exchange listings. They think the chart just prices everything in like 10 years before. And you, you <laughs> could just predict everything was going to happen in a month, in a year, in a, in a week. You, you really got to look at fundamentals. I think that's something that me and uh, CG fully agree on. Uh, this one's for you and it, it doesn't sound great, but let's see. And some dog is Gator team is talking with him. I don't even know who Ansem is. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what Gator is. Is that? Dude, oh my God. It's another one of those deck scams, bro. Slap. No. Yeah. We don't do these. It's not even on coin market cap. Coins. Oh my God, man. These people, yeah. they never learn. <laughs> There's too many coins. I, I think we should have a rule. Like if it's on, if it's not on coin market cap, we're not going to review it. It's just, uh, no. well, I don't do that anyway. Right. But it, it's too much of a headache um idaho said drops a donation to me he says what do you think about egg dog this is an interesting question i mean is here's, here's the deal with egg dog right i think this is uh super sketchy it's probably gonna scam it's probably gonna rug but here's here's what i would say about this right the chart looks good the exchanges are good and they just announced as well on their x page they got a tier one exchange listing coming this week so they huh. just announced that. Now, if that's true, this thing's going to pump, right? If it's like a crypto.com, if it's a Binance, if it's a Coinbase, I don't know what it will be. I know they have the same like group behind them as what Miro does and Pepe. So like there's a, there's a, I don't know how it works with meme coins, but there's like a group basically, which help push the exchange listings, you know, like they get behind the crypto and they kind of like help with the networking side of things they have that group behind them it's a funny meme but i wouldn't throw more than ten dollars in it that that's that's my stance on egg dog i mean it's stupid it's funny uh the main I, I reason think this I, is decent. I, yeah i think it's decent for short term because like the market cap is only six million it's already been out for a month so it doesn't look like it had any you know pre-sale dumpers the charts holding a floor they got some exchange listings um obviously the neat the meme and the, the logo i think is too niche like it's not a it's not the next Myro, but I think if you're going for a short term pump, uh, you could probably make a 10 X on this in the next month or two, depending on the, the meme coin market. So I wouldn't buy it, but you know, there is um, some yeah. short term potential. Exactly. It's like how degen do you want to be right? There's super degen plays that you can get in. You can make a quick 10 X by the way, with meme coins as well. I, I just have this rule, uh, personally, and this is what I did in the bull run. I just pull my initial out after like a two or three X. I mean, if everyone did that, they wouldn't pump. But 
that's just what I do personally, because these things are so risky. They'll be up 10 X one day and then they will be all the way back down in a few days later. So that's just a rule that I like to adhere to personally with, uh, with memes. Uh, I, let's see where we're at. Uh, there's a funny comment here. <laughs> Mer says, uh, XRP to $589. What do you have to say to that? Yeah, totally bro. XRP is the next world reserve currency. Yeah, for uh, it's gonna be the the currency of the universe, actually, not just the world. Um, <laughs> Iron drops a donation to you. Iron's Iron says, uh, "My mistake on your tokenomics criteria." So here's your five dollars. All right, he donated the first five dollars to you, or wait, or was it to me? I can't remember. Uh, the question <laughs> is for Art. Oh, the donations to me. The question is for Archie. Uh, Archie, can you look at Ando? Tell him. Okay, tell him what you think about our Ando. Okay. Let's see. Is this a meme coin or is this a layer one? Let's see. Okay. I don't know about this, but it's too. Have I uh, missed something? This is a new Coinbase Normie coin. I saw this today. Oh, wait. It's on Coinbase or it's. Yeah. It's right there. Already? Yep. Oh. But that's coin. This is Coinbase Exchange, right? So this is Coinbase, yes, but it's only the actual 4%. Coinbase. This is 4% of the volume, so no one's even buying it on Coinbase. Um, yeah, if it's on Coinbase, you're probably too late. That's just my rule. Yeah. I, I like to buy them before. You could make a 5x, a 10x, but I, I don't really think you'll make more than a 10x once it's already listed on Coinbase. Yeah, I don't do that. Uh, this one's uh, Auto you. Lovers. Uh, I put some change in Ondo. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's not good, dude. It's just... A crypto like this that gets listed on Coinbase right at the launch with a huge market cap. Like, what is this? 300 million. The FDV is a 2 billion market cap. This is just a huge insider coin that had some pre-sales, some seed rounds, some pre-allocated dev tokens, some treasury tokens, some ecosystem tokens. So as an investor for you on Coinbase, you're just being a normie going, ah, I am a Coinbase bot normie. I buy whatever list on Coinbase. Oh, wow. Look at Ando. New coin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go buy a hundred bucks and I'll be rich. <laughs> I don't think this is good, dude. I would not touch this for like a thousand miles. You got to check out the new cryptos before they go on Coinbase. So you can be a Coinbase normie or a degen. I think you might be on the wrong channel if you're a Coinbase normie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one's for you as well. Aria, thanks for the $10. I know Aria. He's in my group. Uh, first, wanted to say thanks to both of you. How long do you foresee the correction of Miro lasting? I think it's just going to last as long as the Bitcoin correction or until there's another big exchange listing. That That's all I could say, really. Um. Okay. I thought the question was for both, but he said I wanted to say thanks to both. So thank you. You can answer, too. <laughs> um. How long do you see the correction of Myro lasting? I don't think long, man. It's just dependent on a listing or just Bitcoin, right? So if uh, Bitcoin starts pumping, then Myro will. And if Myro gets a listing, then it will probably just pump regardless of, of that. But just, yeah. just DCA, I would say. Or if you're already in with a huge bag, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily FOMO in right now. But it's a dip, so it's a better dip than what there was a week ago. But if you got in super, super early, I mean... I think I think you you should just hold your bag and, and wait for the listing. Yeah. Uh, this one's for you as well. Uh, Antonis says I'm thinking to buy some Everdome. What's your opinion? I believe that one is a scam, and I can't remember why, but I know I looked at it before and it was like really dumb. Uh, yeah. This this with, oh my god, dude! This is a rug pull. <laughs> Holy crap! Mother of all rugs. Negative ninety nine percent, Antonis. Damn, dude. Man, another one of those bots. Help, what is your opinion? I do not know what a rug look, looks like. <laughs> this is my first day in crypto. <laughs> help, <laughs> I need opinions. <laughs> yeah, this guy needs help as well. <laughs> yeah, he, man. Dude, these people are like struggling out here, Archie. <sighs> yeah, man. I mean, man. I would say about 80% of these comments... These donations as well. So I'd, I would suspect that if you're dropping a donation, you maybe... Uh, your question would be a bit better than just the regular chat because there's a lot of trolls, a lot of bots, you know, in the in the regular chat. Um, with just people who like to mess around, which is fine because they give us some entertainment for the stream. 
But if you're dropping a donation, I would expect, you know, a, a pretty good coin. So, yeah, Everdome, it's a Metaverse coin. Metaverse is pretty much dead on the most part. And this thing, you can just tell by the chart, you know, like uh, this. And there's another one as well, Meta Hero. Those things are dead. You you don't really yeah. want to touch them. So yeah, be, very those, with, be very careful. Yeah, be very careful with anything Metaverse related, I would say. Yeah, Antonis, you got to check out, like, get on Archie's Patreon, get on my VIP group, get on my video course. You really need some help, dude. Same goes for, like, everybody else who asks about these rug coins. Like, you, you guys have a lot of catching up to do, and you got to catch up as soon as possible because you don't realize how lucky you are to join crypto now because, like Archie said, this is basically the pre bull run. Like the bull run is around the corner because the Bitcoin having is in three or four months. So you got to really spend this time. I recommend spend this time to learn, join our groups, get the video courses and get as much knowledge as you can sooner. Because the, the longer you wait, the more you're going to be holding rugs that are negative 99%. You're going to miss the next 100x. You, you got to learn quicker. The bull run is coming. <laughs> exactly. Um there's not long, so take action, and you'll you'll find some better coins than that. Uh, this one's yeah. for you as well. ACG, if you had 10k cash, no crypto, what to do? All right, if I had just 10,000 bucks cash for crypto, I recommend 50 to 80 percent to cash. But it depends on your risk tolerance and also how active you are in crypto. So, like, if you're really low risk, I would just put in 8,000 bucks to cash, and then I would probably do like. I don't know, 400 bucks in Myro, 400 in Hello, 400 in GFAL or Miria, 400 in Pepe. Like just, just get a couple hundred bucks of each of the micro caps, you know, the mid caps, and then um, maybe save another 100 or 200 bucks for, you know, my next buy alert. Cause yeah, you never know. Like I, I've got new gems on my radar, like, you know, a potential next Myro that if it 10X is soon, you, you can 10X uh, maybe 500 bucks to you know five thousand dollars if you if you hit the next myro so that could really you know jump start your portfolio so it just depends on your risk tolerance depends how active you are so yeah it, it's up to you but that's that's kind of a general like guideline how I, I would split up 10k yeah there's a couple people in the chat who said uh the courses will be too expensive for them and this is what i would say to them i would say join the patreon first if you can't afford the course make some gains on the Patreon and then with your Patreon profits, because most people make crazy gains, then after maybe two months, you can buy the course, right? Is that what you would say? Yep. A lot of people have done that already because the Patreon groups we have, it's it's a hundred bucks for each of our groups, which uh, is honestly not that much when, you know, people say, oh, CG, I just turned 1000 bucks to 10K on Myro. And some people even started buying my video course directly in Myro tokens. Um, and even other cryptos that I've had in the past, like Mint Layer, Neon, all of which did 40x in the past few months. I mean, people just kind of start their way up from, you know, my VIP membership. They start their way up from your Patreon. And then from there, you can uh, build your way up into the video course. But, you know, I also recommend if you can, like if you can get the funds together, I know the courses are expensive, but they're meant to be the price they are so that they're more exclusive because we don't want everyone you know, just spurting out this information that, you know, that I'm teaching that Archie is teaching because otherwise the whole word word's going to get out there to, to everybody else in the world. So we want, we want to keep these video courses exclusive just to, to serious investors. And, um, you know, if it's 2000 bucks, 2,500, all it takes is like one $25 investment. A hundred X is 2,500, which is really not that hard to do. Exactly. Like how often do we get people tell us, I joined the Patreon and within the first week I paid the whole year off or like I paid for lifetime access, right? This happens all the yeah. time. I get these messages almost every week. Um, actually every week I get them. So, and I, I'm sure you do too. So I have, like, yeah. it, it's so quick to make the gains once your knowledge is in the right place and once you're uh, educated, right? But if you're not, if you're just a lone wolf and you haven't got the right education, you're never going to make it in crypto. I mean, you could, but it's going to take a lot of failures before you get to the success. Whereas if you join a course like mine, which will be coming out or CGs, which is out right now, then you skip a large amount of the newbie mistakes. You skip a lot of the failures, those basic things that people get wrong. Yeah. You won't get rugged. You won't buy an airdrop or, or get airdropped, you know, and click some scam. You're going to do the basic things right. And you skip a huge amount of time by doing that. And time is money, right? So you got to think of it like that. You got to think of it as an investment in yourself and cutting loads of time out. 
Uh, this exactly. one is for you as well. <laughs> so, yeah. 7 Eleven Newports is a new dumb coin. LOL, sorry, it's bad. Yeah, that's a scam, dude. I thought you were talking about some cigarettes at 7 Eleven. Man, you can just, <laughs> if that's a crypto, that's just awful, man. That's just, yeah, moving on. That's a scam. <laughs> That's the worst one I've heard. Um, I am self disciplined Gives you a donation. Uh, self discipline Thanks for the five bucks. Is there other options besides Mexi? I just can't take the risk with a VPN. Can we still get an early project without Mexi non-KYC from USA? No. What are you talking about? You can't take the risk, bro. All you have to do is get a hardware wallet, get a Tandem, get a one key. When you use Mexi, you get a VPN. VPNs are 100% legal in the USA. They cost $5 a month. So you sign up on Maxi, you transfer your funds. As soon as you buy whatever crypto you want on Maxi, you <laughs> withdraw it offline to your Tangem or your one key as soon as possible. And so if you do that, if you follow the right instructions, it doesn't matter if it's Maxi. It doesn't matter what other options there are. There's no USA exchanges that are non-regulated that you can use. You, you, you have to get a VPN. There's, there's no way around it, man. Yeah, for sure. Tinnel gives me a donation. Thank you very much. He says, why are you guys bearish on HBAR? Is it a scam? Should I swap for other crypto? I would. I would swap it for another crypto. It depends what you define as a scam, right? Like, th this is the thing. Like, I don't think it's a scam like some rug pulls where they just r pull the rug and everyone loses everything. But the tokenomics are kind of scammy. So it has recipes of a scam but it doesn't mean the thing itself is a scam so it will probably do like a 5 to 10x in the bull run but why would you buy hbar when you could buy casper um or even if you want to be an ultimate normie like buy solana solana's 10 times better than hbar and and that's a that's a safe normie coin in the top five so i just don't get the hype with these other coins like they have the same gains potential as something like solana or a casper or sometimes even Ethereum, yet the risk level is so much lower, like uh, so much higher. They're so much more risky. So I'm going <laughs> to get your thoughts on HBAR, man, because I know you don't like it. Tanel represents all of the Coinbase normies. Hello, I am Coinbase normie. I like HBAR. They have partnerships. They have big news coming through. <laughs> <laughs> and these people don't even look at basic checks like the tokenomics, how old is the crypto, is the chart a pump and dump? It's like there's just certain things I, I understand. Like, I'll forgive you, new guys. You have no idea that you're uh, Coinbase normies. It's fine, dude. I get it. You're on Coinbase. You just buy the generic coins. But just, Tanel, just go look up the pre-allocations of the tokenomics for HBAR. I think about 90% of the supply was pre-allocated to maybe a handful of people. I'm talking less than 40 people. Meanwhile, the other 10% gets allocated to the Coinbase listing and the normies like you, which represents thousands, if not millions of people. So if HBAR does a 10x pump, one of the insiders is going to turn a $10 million bag into $100 million. He'll dump it for tons of profits and become financially free for the rest of his life. Meanwhile, a 10x on your $5,000 bag turns to 50 grand. It's just whatever. So there's a and there's a ceiling there's only a limit as to how far it can pump because the tokenomics are just so garbage yeah people always ask me like xrp and i'm like why would you buy that when you can buy bitcoin or eth which yeah. will do the same gains right but they're not they're not super scammy like at least they're somewhat useful um it just doesn't make sense man people need to get their risk reward ratio uh right uh yeah. jessica dropped a donation to you Jessica, thanks for the $10. Love the collaboration. What's either of y'all's thoughts on ORDS? BRC20 token, only a month, 1 billion supply, half circulation, no team unlocks till December 25. ORDS, ORDS, ORDI swap? Is this the one? I checked this one. I, I'm keeping it on my watch list. I think it's decent. Um, The chart looks good. I believe the BRC20 narrative is good. I believe this is a, a DEX for BRC20 tokens. Um, tokenomics are good too. On coin market cap, it's incorrect. It says 20% circulating, but it's actually half. Like you said, it's half circulating. The downside is that the founder, Jack Liu, who was a, a strategic uh, advisor for OKEX, he created this coin, but I don't think he's working on it anymore. And I don't know why. And the whole already swap team right now is anonymous. So 
for me, being an anonymous team is a red flag, but I guess there's potential in it as the first BRC20 decks. It's just the, the anonymous team and Jack Lou stepping down is just kind of sketchy to me. So I, I don't know. Yeah, dexes and meme coins, they don't always dox themselves, right? So maybe they can be exceptions, but it's good to have a general criteria. Uh, right, we got a lot of small, uh, quick questions, so we can go through these pretty fast. Yeah, let's go through these quick. All right, uh, want to thank CG Got Myro at $21. Oh, 21 MC, <laughs> uh, because of you. Awesome, man. It's great to hear. Congratulations. And this one's for you. Uh, Jamal Vexed fits your criteria, gaming and esports. So, you know, I do like gaming coins, but I feel like there's going to be something else wrong about it. Oh, I've seen this one. So, the chart is currently dumping quite a bit, so it has potential. But um, I, I would I would just hold off a bit, right? Because if it's if the price just keeps falling forever, is like what the heck, you know? So I would just just keep it on your watch list, but I would not buy it right now. Yeah, that it looks like it's bleeding out. Uh, this one's also for you. Market drops and normies panic. Only ten percent get rich. Even less than ten percent. Like I think maybe like two percent of people get rich or five percent. I think. <laughs> I think 10% is being generous. What do you think, Archie? Yeah, uh, I don't know the exact percentage, but definitely the smart money and the smart players make 99% of the gains, right? Like yeah. um, retail don't make that much money in crypto. And the ones who do usually have had a cycle or two experience or they join a course like ours and they actually educate themselves because the number one problem is people don't know how to manage emotions. And their crypto knowledge is just really, really flawed. They bring out projects like Everdome and Myra and all of these picks, right? Which we keep getting in the chat. So most people really have flawed knowledge or really bad emotional control. Those are the two really important things that you need to have to invest. If your emotional control in your own life isn't very good, then you should probably watch Crypto John. He could help out with your emotions and your, you know, your, uh, kind of mindset side of things and yeah if, if you're really emotional in real life and you're the type of guy that you know is a keyboard warrior and just can't stay stoic and grounded you probably need to improve that before you even touch crypto because you need to be grounded in real life before you try and enter something like crypto because you're going to make the same mistakes uh this one's for you too uh ness any input on following the last bull run? Would you follow BDC or is there a pattern to follow with my uh, with meme coin season? Pattern to follow? I mean, cryptos as a whole are all going to pump if Bitcoin is pumping. When it comes to meme coin season, there is no pattern because the way that meme coins start, um, it, usually there's one meme coin that leads the meme coin season. And the reason for that is because whoever created the meme coin has some kind of inside connections to Binance, Coinbase, other tier one exchanges, Vitalik Buterin, maybe Elon Musk. And so with those connections, they're going to pump substantially, list on every exchange, become the next best thing. And then after that meme coin is going to be all of the spinoff meme coins. So Pepe, for example, uh, got on Binance that created a new meme season. Bonk listed on Coinbase that created a new meme season. Myro is doing really well right now, I think is also creating or adding to the meme season, but there's, there's no way to predict it, right? You just, you just got to keep an eye out and be vigilant for the new meme coins, you know, follow what I've outlined in the video course, like what to look for in, you know, but what is a potential bullish meme coin? Yeah, absolutely. I also uh, discussed this. Um, at Al Taf. Uh, it says, will you reveal the last two gems? Yes, they are revealed in the video course and the Patreon. So go join and you'll you'll see them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Metamorpheus says, Archie, will your course have similar benefits to CG? Uh, I mean, I haven't actually watched Crypto Galaxy's course. So, um, you know, I, I will watch it eventually after I have finished mine um because i don't, I don't want to allow it to like impact my way of thinking of a course at all but i what i'll say is i've been working on this for like six months in terms of drafting and i actually had a course come out over a year ago which uh you know i've changed a lot of my investment strategy since then but yeah it, it will be completely different 
Uh, and that's why you should join bo both, right? Because my course is how I invest and Crypto Galaxies is how he invests. We actually have different picks. Like a lot of people think all of the picks are the same. They're absolutely not. I haven't bought some of his and he hasn't bought some of mine. I think I'm maybe a little bit more bullish on gaming than him. And he's maybe a little bit more bullish on meme coins than me. So, and layer one. So we have differences, right? And that's why ultimately it's best to join two different peoples and get different perspectives. So yeah, yeah it will be different. The benefits will be different. Uh, we'll be talking maybe about the same things. We're both talking about how to make money in crypto, but the way how we go about it is very, very different. Yeah, Would we both just have happen? different styles. It's it's that simple. We both want to make money with different styles, though. So I think uh, the more perspectives you can get from people, the better, right? Because Crypto Archie been in crypto for five years. He has his own experience and perspectives and you know strategies that work. Uh, same goes for me. I've got four years of experience with strategies that work for me and we have a little bit of overlap and we also have our own styles and doing it different types of uh sectors we look for you know archie's good with gaming and i'm good with the layer ones and the memes so it's just it's just some subtle subtle differences yeah for sure and even just like strategy as well you know the the way how we maybe take profits could be different and our entry strategies could be different so just go see them for yourself who, who you know who do you prefer if you have to choose one which youtuber do you have more of an affinity to and uh, if you can afford it, definitely join both. That That's the ultimate pathway to, to crypto success is joining both, right? You're going to have infinite knowledge because two people who have gone through crypto in different paths and both been successful, if you combine both of all of the pooled knowledge that both of us have maintained, that's crazy amount of knowledge, right? Like all the knowledge is in my course that I'm coming out with. And I'm sure pretty much all of your knowledge is in your course so that's so much knowledge it's it's incredible yeah, yeah that's pretty cool oh you skip one. Oh, uh here we go. uh help me cg which coin should i buy <laughs> he's just joking around because i get this question all the time hey bro help me what do i buy it's like dude just i think you're on my vip right just go check out my buy alerts you'll see what i bought last and i'll just tell you i think you should just go get a little bit of myro because myro is uh, it's really hot right now. It's been pumping. I feel like a tier one is coming. So if you want quick short-term gains and you're willing to risk your money, I recommend uh, grab some Myro. Uh, absolutely. Uh, his his Bert drops a donation to you. Uh, his Bert says, are Elon-inspired meme coins likely to pump like rock and bite? I do not think so. Um, Dude, there's so many scams that go around that copy Elon. Like, Oh, Elon giveaways, the baby Elon coin, the Elon Christmas token, the Elon Doge coin. It's just they're so sketchy, dude. And none of them are actually affiliated with Elon Musk. Elon Musk has said so many times he only supports Dogecoin. And it's for good reasons. It's a hundred percent fairly launched proof of work layer one meme coin. And that's the only one he's ever supported for like six years. So I don't think he's gonna suddenly say, Hey guys. Go buy the Croc coin. Go get Bite coin. I don't think Elon's going to do that. No, he's definitely not. He likes Doge, and I don't know if he likes anything else. Uh, by the way, guys, don't drop any more donations because when you, it won't be guaranteed that we'll read it. So, yeah, uh, this one's for you as well. Uh, Jelani, what's your price prediction for Neon EVM <clears throat> on the upcoming bull run? A good question. So I think Neon has potential to hit the same all-time high of Polygon, which is basically a 20 million market cap. What's Neon sitting at right now? Neon's at a 88 million. Wow, dude, that's just crazy. So if Neon hits the same potential of Polygon, looking at a 227X, which would basically be a $350 Neon. But keep in mind, Neon is going to have some very aggressive unlocks because the circulating supply is only... 5%. The next unlock is coming in about five months. So um, I think the price could be suppressed by about 5x or 10x cheaper. If that happens, we might only be looking at a, a $70 neon. I mean, I don't know. The, the range is massive, right? It could be between neon could hit 50 bucks. It could hit 500 bucks. It just depends on, you know, the exchange listings and, and um, uh, the tokenomics. I, I think it's got some tier ones coming, right? It just got crypto.com. I think the chart's holding up pretty well. It's bullish. It's a good narrative. Um, it's got a solid team. So it's it, it's got potential, but we'll see. Absolutely. Uh, Lino drops another one to you. 
Lino, thank you. Uh, I saw today this token Dex check. What's your opinion about it? Really love your show to help people and understand the crypto world better. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Um, you know, we do like doing this because it's, it's obviously so many people that are just super lost in crypto. This crypto is so niche that you don't really have anyone to talk to about crypto, right? Like I don't have many, if any people in real life to talk about this, uh, about crypto with. There's a few, but most people are are online. So it's nice to have this uh, community together to get these collabs going. It's really mutually beneficial to all of us, right? To work together. Um, for Dex check, you know, it's really a niche crypto for Dex tool kind, kind of things, which I think DEXs are good, but I think DEXs are not that bullish, right? Because most people are crypto normies and they don't understand DEXs. So while this might have good utility and it might have a, quite a bit of exchange listings, low market cap, it could be a good short-term play. But um, DEX tools, the crypto itself hasn't really pumped very much. And so I think, you know, a crypto like a DEX type of crypto, I, I, I just don't think they're that bullish. But what do you think, Archie? Yeah, I I agree to an extent, but what I would say is I think Dex Check is the best one out there in terms of those types of niche plays. Um, I if you were gonna buy this, I wouldn't allocate anywhere above one percent of a portfolio. Like this is a very small play that you get into. Um, you know, you you maybe get like a ten x, a twenty x, thirty x from here. Um, you know, I bought this one down here personally, so I I'm up maybe. 2x right now but it's a very small bag like it's one of my smallest holdings in my whole portfolio i do like the fact they have loads of listings like they're pushing new ones basically every week like their marketing's really really good but yeah like you say it's pretty niche i see it being better than dex tools in the bull run but yeah i, I wouldn't really put much in this one I, I would have way more in gaming coins and layer ones this is just like my out outsider play um and I'll probably sell it, you know, once once I see what it does in the next few months. I'll probably just flip it into Casper, essentially. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use these low caps, these niche coins, to buy more Casper. That, that's pretty much the goal. Um, yeah. And then buy more Bitcoin next bull run, right? The goal is ultimately just to lower your risk overall and use those micro caps to kind of play them for like 6 to 12 months. You get in, you make a 10, you make a 30x, you make a 50x. And then you flip it into Casper. That's where the real gains are going to be, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Um, this one's for you as well, Salama. Salama. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, Salama. The Salama mascot, Docs Dev, LP Burn, blah, 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 blah. You sound like a bot. Oh, guys, <laughs> check it out. The Docs Dev, and he did a KYC, and the, the contract was renounced, and uh, we got a tech audit. It's like, it's just a bunch of crap, dude. Like, I will say this. I think Salama is actually a really good short-term play. I'll be honest. The chart's very bullish. The market cap is low. Um, The name is okay. Like, There's no way this is going to get on Coinbase. But the, the only problem is that this doesn't have any central exchange listings. It's only on Radium and Jupiter and all the Solana DEXs. So I think this is a good short-term play if you want something quick because the chart's bullish and um, clearly they're going to go, I don't know, hopefully push some marketing. But the thing about the DEX world of cryptos is that it's such a niche section of crypto. There's just not much money in DEXs, so you can't get a pump. So I think you'll get a good short-term play out of this, but um, I, I would like to see this get listed on central exchanges like Mexi, BitGet, BitMart, etc. Yeah, just because the meme is good or some people think it's good doesn't mean the crypto is going to pump, right? It's all about connections, uh you know, getting big backers behind it, such as Coinbase, Binance. Uh, also, I hate to say it, but paid paid chilling, right? Like me and Crypto Galaxy are both against it. We've never done one at all on our channel and the whole existence of it. But to be honest, you do sometimes need a bit of paid chilling for some of these cryptos to pump. Dogecoin's the exception. But if you look at like Shiba Inu, Myro, a lot of these meme coins, they do paid promotions. And it it's bullish yeah. for price action, but it's obviously bearish for, for ethics. It's unethical, <laughs> but uh, it, it yeah. does pump the price, right? So we're not going to do it. But how do you feel on that? Like if a crypto, because I know I'm, yeah, I'm invested in a uh, plays app, for example, I have a very small bag and they do paid promotions to other YouTubers. I've never taken one. But I know they do, they did at one point do it for other YouTubers. Now know, this is bad. Weird... Yeah, this is yeah, bad ethically, right? But what do you think? Yeah, it's bad. It, uh, paid marketing is generally bad. I mean, crypto in general is just a whole bunch of Ponzi schemes of people trying to get their bags pumped. So 
I understand paid chilling is good for pumping your bags, and I'm not going to say that I had to complain about it. I know Myro is doing paid marketing. They, they never paid me. I won't take their money to do any paid marketing because I would just lose all of my authenticity because the only cryptos that me and Archie talk about are cryptos we actually believe in, that we invest in, that we think you can make money on, and we deny any paid marketing offers we get. But sure, you know, cryptos like Shiba and Myro and uh, many others, they, they do paid marketing campaigns, which will pump the bags. And in some cases, it's good. In other cases, it's bad. Like for some cryptos, they just do excessive paid marketing up yeah. front, and then it causes a huge pump and dump. And then the founding team of the project will just take the profits and quit. But in other cases, you got cryptos like Myro or Shiba. If they do consistent light paid marketing, I think it's good to just get the word out there and to, you know, get people understanding what the crypto is rather than just trying to like tell everyone like, oh my gosh, yes, go pump the bags, go buy it immediately. You know, like um, Wall Street memes and Grape Token have, were doing that and they just dumped after the pre-sales. So those are like really bad examples. So there's some gray area. It just, it just depends on the coin and their intentions. Yeah, it's the way they go about it and it's also how they go about it, right? Like Wall Street memes is an example of them doing it badly, I would say. Um, really, yeah. really excessive. I think half of the money all went to marketing. So really kind of sketchy on that regard. But some other ones, you know, like Myro, maybe Plays app, the way they do it is bad. Obviously, we don't agree with it. It's unethical. But in terms of our actual uh, crypto bags, it, it's probably bullish, right? It, it brings awareness, more marketing. Uh, means more people buying the cryptos, essentially. Uh, this one's for you as well. Worst new meme coin names. <laughs> Baby Shark and Fentanyl. Uh, they're both terrible. Probably Fentanyl is worse. Uh, man, there's so many <laughs> scam coins with the name Baby in it. Oh, Baby Bonk, Baby Shiba, Baby Myro, Baby Pepe. It's just so dumb, man. I just, you, you, me and Archie, we've heard this crap so many times. We're just like, Oh, what is it? Baby something? All right. It probably sucks because it's just another cash grab. <laughs> what the hell is this, man? Fentanyl Chinese <laughs> communist dragon? I think I've just found the ultimate Coinbase listing uh, meme coin, right? This thing's yes. the, 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 the 10 billion X meme that we all wanted, but we never knew about. Oh, man. Chinese communist dragon fentanyl. What, what, what a name. This is so dumb. <laughs> I mean, the meme's good, right? It makes you laugh. I guess that's the point of yeah. a meme, but no exchanges, stupid name. It's probably not going to do well. Uh, this is the final donation. We're not going to take any more now, and this is for Crypto Galaxy. Surprise, surprise again. Man, all the donations going to CG. Uh, me, myself, <laughs> thanks for the $5. Thanks, Archie, for the sauce. CG smacked me when it was .019. Now it's .08 and still looks strong. <laughs> Oh, for Myro, yes, I I called Myro at point oh one. I think he's talking about. What's he talking about? Is he talking it's about Myro? Saucer swap oh, or Myro? Oh wait, maybe. Oh, sorry. Oh, sauce. Uh, oops. Yeah, my bad. What is sauce swap? What was that? I uh, I don't know, man. This is one I used to be in, but I I sold it at profits. Whoa, uh, nice. It, it's pumping. Yeah, this is this is a Dex for H bar. I mean, it, it's it. I don't. I wouldn't buy it. I sold it um but yeah i bought it early on and sold at some profits but this was like such a small percentage of my portfolio that it was irrelevant but i mean if you made gains based on the coin then great right gains are gains it doesn't matter what you buy um but maybe since you made so much profits it could be a good idea to sell it and uh throw it into something like the top five would you say that as well Yes, I would agree. Throw that profit into the top five for your, your mid cap and big cap blue chips. Um, also, if you're not already, you know, make sure you're in Archie's Patreon. Check out my video course. Check out my VIP membership because we got more gems coming on the way, right? Like we're, you know, we're, we're we got quite a few cryptos on our watch list that we're seriously considering buying. I know in my video course gem group already, uh, we've got about eight strong contenders that we're, we're, uh, we're looking at, you know, and this is after hundreds of scam coins we've we've gone through so there's there's quite a few that i'm looking at um that i think i might go buy soon from you know because the people who take my video course they understand what i'm looking for to vet a crypto for 100x potential and so i have a strong feeling my next buy alert could come out of this group because uh there's quite a good few good picks already that, that are on there and i know um archie is looking at some new gems as well 
Absolutely, man. That's the benefit when you've got a group of intelligent people who are hardworking enough to actually take action and buy a course. Like a lot of people don't do that. They don't take action. Whereas if you've got a group of people, a network of people who actually join the course, um, you know, or join like a high tier on a Patreon, the chances are they're pretty serious about making money in, the, in crypto. They're not just there for a bit of a joke and a laugh around and a troll. They, they want to make money. They're not here to sit on beanbags and mess around like the right stream team was doing for a whole year. They want to actually make money, right? And uh, that's why I recommend people join the groups. Um, Crypto Galaxy, you just released a new course, right? Yeah, guys, go check out my new course that I just made, um, especially now more than ever. Like if you're invested in Miro, if you're up in profit with Neon, Mint Layer, Caspa, uh, this new video course I just released today is how to take out your profits and cash out like a pro because... There are certain things that people are doing wrong, like they're getting exchange accounts frozen like Mexi because they have too much money, which is a good problem. But you really don't want your exchange accounts frozen. So I cover that topic, you know, the best methods you can use because you can trade cryptos directly on hardware wallets. There are some peer to peer options, over the counter options like there's there's other methods you can use to cash out. And also, you know, things like, you know, just your profit management, how to identify the top, how to anticipate a new exchange listing. How long is the crypto price going to stay at the top from a new exchange listing? You know, and I've also got some basic like TA indicators, things, you know, that I look for in the volume. Is the volume dying? Is it going to be picking up? Um, sometimes there's a double top for certain charts. Depends on the crypto. So I would recommend taking uh, this this course, the Taking Profits course, the new one, um, especially if you're up in profit. Because, man, I'm, I'm just saying, dude, some people are <laughs> they're going to hold their Miro all the way down. Or they're going to sell their Miro early. Some people have already panic sold. And I'm like, dude, you just, you're not supposed to sell Miro now. Uh, and also guys, if you want to, if you're like brand new to my channel, you can get, uh, I have a new bundle that I put out for uh, the VIP bundle. Uh, you can just go to my homepage. I have it up there. So if you want to get both of my video courses and a, a lifetime permanent VIP membership, I just put up the bundle today. Um, I put it on sale today because I know the market's taking a small dump and people are kind of sad about that. So I put it on sale today. If you want to get the sale for the ultimate or VIP bundle, check out one of those two. Um, it's the best deal because you get both video courses plus a lifetime membership uh, for much cheaper than the regular prices. So check those out too. 100% man. I, I definitely recommend people join this. Like for me as a, as another YouTuber, you know, um, I definitely recommend people go and listen to this because people have made crazy gains on your picks like neon, um, mint layer. You found both of these before anyone else was talking about them on YouTube. Right? So I, uh, highly recommend people go join, get the alpha and, uh, learn crypto galaxy strategy. And, um, also on my side of things, I do have a course coming very soon. This goes through so much. It's took me many months to make and plan and all of that. Um, so I think it's like 50 videos, maybe there's a lot in there, right? So go, go join that when it launches and I'm going to be doing a discount for the Patreon. So if you are in the Patreon, the first 24 hours of the course being out, you'll probably get like 20% off. You'll probably get a pretty sizable discount, uh, to save yourself some money on that. So definitely join the Patreon and then you can get the, obviously the Patreon buy alerts, sell alerts, all of that. And you'll get a huge discount on the course, which uh, regular viewers won't get. So Patreon is in the description. And also, while you're at it, join Crypto Galaxy's VIP membership as well. Um, guys, this has been a good stream. Thank you to everyone watching. Oh, wait, Have you got one any... more super chat. One more. Let's see. Yeah, just Here we go. One. Um, Nim. Nim. Nim says, just bought the CG video course. Awesome, man. Congratulations. I see that coming through. Make sure to claim your Discord role. Check out check out my 100x gems chat in the Discord. Um, and then check out the updates channel. You can see my updated watch list of cryptos that passed the seven criteria. So check it out, man. You're going to get some alpha in the Discord. Watch the video course when you get a chance. So thank you very much and welcome to the course. That's awesome, Nim. Great to hear. And uh, Archie, I am looking forward to your course too. I'm pretty excited to see it because I know you got some, uh, some good alpha you're going to put in there. You put a lot of work into it. Absolutely, man. It's... It's been a while in the planning, um, but, you know, shooting the videos is the easy part. Like ha actually gaining the information, gaining the knowledge, that's what takes so long. And uh, yeah, like this is a, a long, I mean, if you're, if you're super impatient, 
and you don't want to learn, I wouldn't recommend joining. If you want to actually put in a few hours and really understand crypto fully, then you should join. I only want serious people joining when it comes out. But like I said, you get a discount uh, if you are a Patreon of any tier. So yeah, man, thank you so much for doing this collab. I look forward to the next uh, 100 collabs that we do in the future. And let's keep making people yeah. money, man. It was It was a good stream. Yeah, it's been a good collab. Thank you, Archie. It's been a good stream. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next live stream. Goodbye. Yep. See you guys.